everybody, I'm Argofomf, and this is Miss Clue, Christmas at Donner Pass. It's the newest game in the Miss Clue series. Game number six came out January 30th, 2022. Yes, they released a Christmas game in January. Kind of a weird decision, huh? Hmm. Well, the Miss Clue games are a lot like the Nancy Drew games. If you haven't heard of them before, they look and play very similar to the classic Nancy Drews. And it looks like we're riding a train. Woohoo, train! Dear Nixie, I'm so excited. Loretta has invited me to come and spend time with her in Lake Tahoe and take advantage of all the winter fun. Her family has just bought the most charming Victorian mansion in Lake Tahoe you have ever seen. Loretta and her family are returning from Europe to get the house all set up for Christmas and a winter of skiing, ice skating, and everything else you can imagine on ice and snow. It will be great to see them all again. Loretta tells me their gardener and their handyman have already arrived in Lake Tahoe to get everything ready for the family. Skiing is becoming really popular here in California. The Snow Express train has been running up to Lake Tahoe since October. So far, there hasn't been a lot of snow this winter, and I think the ski resorts are getting a little worried. Hopefully we'll get a lot of snow before New Year's, so I already have my skis waxed and ready to go. In the latest telegram from Loretta, she says she is coming out on the westbound Zephyr train from New York, so we should all arrive later today. I am definitely looking forward to this vacation in the snowy High Sierras. After my last one ended up in a cruise most deadly, I'll never think of the South Pacific in quite the same way. I will write you more after I arrive and fill you in on how many waffles I have eaten. Your vacationing friend, Jane. P.S. There is a gentleman sitting across from me in this train compartment who appears to be quite preoccupied. He is continually taking notes and staring at the compartment wall over my left shoulder. So far he has kept to himself, but he does become curiouser and curiouser. I'll let you know in my next letter if I find anything out about him that is worth mentioning before we arrive in Lake Tahoe. Obviously, Jane, we've got a crazy man who's just obsessed with your shoulder. Yeah, that sounds oh. like it. Um, uh, excuse hey, me. excuse yeah. me. M. E. O. Me? I didn't say anything. I beg your pardon, but you said O. M. E. Indeed I did, but I was merely repeating what I heard. But I didn't say anything. Indeed you didn't. Then who were you repeating? Oh, that. You must excuse me as I am much advanced over the common man, and I am conversing with the spirit who is behind you and to your left. Oh. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. No matter. He had just concluded his unique message. It was, all roads lead to home. But isn't that just an old proverb, all roads lead to Rome? Not at all. The way he puts it is completely new. All roads lead to home. My, that is original. I often spend the entire night commuting. Okay, I'm sorry. This guy's a crazy person, okay? He's like, oh, I'm just talking to a ghost here. Let's have a fascinating conversation about common phrases. Oh, he's such a cool ghost. W what is even going on here? The game just started, and already I'm confused. Okay, to continue the mystery, you just need to click on the picture. Cool, got it. Meaning with spirits. In fact, right at this moment, do you know how many spirits are on this train? Couldn't even guess. 18,049. All right, so it looks like we can pick either of these two conversation options. Uh, that's a lot of spirits. That is a lot of spirits, and yet it doesn't seem crowded at all. Indeed, and yet they all have so much to say. I wonder if the railroad has any spirit fee they can collect. I had not considered that. Perhaps I should speak to the railroad and see if I can not be of assistance in that area. I'm sure the railroad executives would be pleased with your help. But that is not the half of it. 
Earlier I was speaking to Aristotle, and his message was, A picture is worth a family. Interesting. Did he mention anything about the picture also being worth a thousand words? Of course not. If he had wanted me to take down a thousand words in my notebook, it would have quite taken our entire train ride. Indeed it would. Let me see now. I also have a message from Copernicus. It reads, Life is never what it appears, but what you fear. Are you certain your communication is always clear and unencumbered? Certainly. For an adept such as myself, I can see and hear these spirits as plainly as I can see and hear you. It is most interesting that each of them are so creative. They are, they are. Let me share another with you. Revolution is a moving experience, and the third time is the harm. Okay, no, no, this is not fascinating. Why are we still going with this? I I is Jane just being polite? Or is she scared that if she disagrees with this guy, he will attempt to kill her? I don't know, th this guy is freaking me out. This is such a weird conversation to start the game with. Don't you mean the charm? Not according to Copernicus. Are you ever frightened by the spirits? Goodness, no. But I have encountered a few who were afraid of me. Really? Most definitely. I remember one French spirit who said after seeing me, I have the chair of a chicken. He had the chair of a chicken? Yes, that is what he said. Wait, what he said was, J'ai le chair de poule. Yes, I'm afraid that was not the best translation. It should have been, I have the flesh of a chicken. The spirit had the flesh of a chicken? No, that's still not right. I know, he said, I have goosebumps. Yes, that is it. I gave him goosebumps. I could see how that could happen. Yes, spirits can be so temperamental. Next stop, Lake Tahoe, Truckee, and Mystic. That's my stop. I hope you have a nice stay. Yes, it is the perfect time of year. Galileo agrees and says the mountain air makes sound travel slower and spy glasses make the world go round. Isn't that love makes the world go round? Not according to Galileo. He says he gained financial security selling spyglasses. He says using a spyglass you can see a captain and his ship coming into harbor two hours before you can win naked. People look for captains when they are naked? No, no, without the spyglass, with their naked eye. Oh, I see. Why would they want to see the ship two hours early? Why, everyone knows. Sea captains don't always have the best intention when coming into port. Is that according to Galileo? Most definitely. Does he say anything else? Only in Italian. I think it's something about never trust church officials with large wooden machines. What does that mean? I can't imagine. He is often enigmatic, and now he's gone off to talk to Kepler. Next stop, Lake Tahoe, Truckee, and Mystic. Do you need any help? I can often prevail upon some of the more restless spirits to assist people in moving items such as luggage. No, no. Thank you very much. That is quite all right. My friend has arranged for me to be picked up at the station by someone who is a bit more lively. At least I hope he's alive. As you wish. Give my regards to everyone and enjoy your trip. Okay. So now she is leaving that very strange man. That was just so weird. Was there a point to that conversation? He's like, I'm just going to talk about famous people and have so many jokes about misunderstanding common phrases. Oh, ah, uh, isn't it funny how English has so many idioms? It's wonderful. Loading, 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 loading. I wonder what it's loading. Well, it does take a while to load because there are 8,900 different spirits haunting this, this video, I guess. Oh! You know, when he said that line, I thought he was going to say, hey, there are 13 ghosts and you need to go around the train and find all 13 of the ghosts in the different hiding spots. And I thought that would be a cool challenge. But no. No, that was not where he was going with that conversation. <laughs> Ugh. 
Okay, I eventually figured out the loading screen wasn't going to end. The game crashed on me, and then I replayed the game like five times, got the same loading screen of death every single time. Eventually, I found a workaround, which is just go to the game setup and switch to like the lowest possible graphics setting. That that fixed the game for me, so I was able to get past that that terrible, terrible loading screen. So, I don't want to end the video with just a minute of me staring at a, a loading screen. So here, here's something fun. Let's look at the other conversation option. Because, yeah, we've got ten minutes of talking, but only one place where you decide what Jane says. And are they all ready for Christmas? All of them except for one old miser I talked to, who really doesn't seem to like the spirit of Christmas at all. Really? Just one? That is just one of those I have talked to. Most of them are quite busy this Christmas. They have lots of visiting to do. Do they often take the train to go visiting? Oh, no. They take all manner of conveyances. But the train does tend to draw the best class of spirits, who tend to have an appreciation for progress. That must be very convenient for you when you travel. Oh, indeed it is. It is. Are you certain your communication is always clear and unencumbered? Certainly. Okay, so that's 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 the other conversation. At this point, uh, both those conversations combine, and then it goes into that whatever you call it, weird conversation about... Each of them are so creative. Who is it, Galileo? They are, they are. No, it's Copernicus. It's Copernicus. Revolution is still what a weird way to start the game, huh?